ఓకే సో ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ వాట్ వి డిస్కస్ మేడం సమ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫీల్డ్స్ ఇన్ ద ఫ్యూచర్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ అండ్ ఆప్షన్ ఫీల్డ్స్ రైట్ మేడం సో టుడే వాట్ వి డిస్కస్ ఇస్ సమ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ కాన్సెప్ట్ కాల్డ్ ఆప్షన్ కన్స్ట్రైన్స్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ దిస్ వన్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ ఆప్షన్ కన్స్ట్రైంట్ ఓకే సో ఇన్ ఆప్షన్ కన్స్ట్రైన్స్ దెర్ ఆర్ టూ ఆప్షన్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఇంక్లూడ్ ఆర్ డిపెండెన్సీ అదర్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఎక్స్క్లూడ్ సో ఐమ్ గెటింగ్ సమ్ బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ ఆయిస్ ప్లీజ్ ఓకే సో సో జనరలీ వాట్ ఈస్ ద యూస్ ఆఫ్ ఆప్షన్ కన్స్టెంట్ ఈస్ సో బేస్డ్ ఆన్ వన్ ఆప్షన్ సెలెక్షన్ యూ క్యాన్ ఇంక్లూడ్ ఆర్ ఎక్స్క్లూడ్ అదర్ ఆప్షన్ అండర్స్టాండ్ వాటమ్ సింగ్ based on one option selection you can include or exclude other option there are two types dependency like include dependency or you can call it as include whatever it may be okay and exclude so this is same like a multi set like we have field dependency right country and state right that is something uh, something like that this is okay so here for example we'll take any one bundle product example quote so what is our bundle product we have created what is the bundle product name tip pro pack that tip professional pack right add products select it professional pack click select it so now what is my requirement is so whenever i am selecting us keyboard okay automatically i want to disable uk keyboard whenever i am selecting us keyboard automatically i want to exclude this one this is one requirement that is called exclude okay so here so what we can call is same like a option constraining is like a controlling field controlling option controlling option okay so in this case what is the option constraint controlling field us keyboard whenever i am selecting us keyboard what i have to do i have to hide the which one uk keyboard. not uh, not hiding disable what i have to do is disable that is called constrained which one you can keep both okay so here in this exclude option it will work by vice versa okay in the exclude option it will work vice versa vice versa means <clears throat> if i am selecting us uk will exclude if i select uk us also will exclude so it will work vice versa in this case both are contra- both are constraining both are constrained okay to achieve this functionality so we should go for um, bundle product what is the bundle product name it back okay so generally remember one important point option constraints is only for options not for all the products stand alone products and other products this is only in a bundle level this is only for specific bundle specific options so go to your main bundle product which product you want to implement go to the related list so here you can see there is an option called option constraints okay click on new button so what is the name you can give us keyboard excludes uk keyboard okay option and uh, this should be active okay uh, this checkbox should be active so what is the constrained option you can take a constrained is equals to 
UK option. Okay, go to education pack. So what is the UK keyboard, madam? This is the UK keyboard. So just copy this one and constrained. So constrained is nothing but a dependent field, dependent option. What is what is controlling sir here? US keyboard. So this is the <laughs> option. Okay. So this is so. Whenever I'm selecting this option, automatically this option, what needs to happen? Include or exclude? Depending. Includes. In, in this case, what, what is the requirement? Include or exclude? What do you have to do? Exclude. Exclude. Mm, exclude. Perfect. Yeah. Click a save. We'll test now. Is it working or not working? Add products. That is professional pack. Select. So, whenever I'm selecting US keyboard, what will happen? Now you can see. What happened? UK keyboard is disabled. Excluded. It will work vice versa. Whenever I'm setting UK also automatically, which will exclude. exclude. Yeah. Okay. So in the dependency, in the exclude concept, it will work vice versa. Both ways it will work. Okay. You can use anyone as a controlling field, anyone as you can use a dependent field. Understand? Yes. Understand? Yeah. Yes. yes sir. In the exclude yes. both, it will work both ways. Okay. For example, we'll take dependency. So dependency means it will work like a controlling and dependent as it is. There is no vice versa. There is no vice versa. For example, here, I'll take a controlling field equals to wireless router. So whenever I'm setting wireless router, automatically I want to include wireless installation okay so in this case what is the controlling field router is a controlling field this is a dependent field so what is the meaning of a dependency or include means so if you select a, a router then only it will enable okay if you select a router option then only it will enable otherwise by default it will be disabled mode that is called dependency. So whenever I'm selecting router, then only it will be enabled. Otherwise, what will happen? Otherwise, what will happen, sir? It will be disabled mode. It will be disabled mode. Okay, madam. So we'll create one more uh, option constraints. Put any button. <laughs> router requires installation okay, madam. so what is the controlling field controlling uh, wireless router is a controlling controlling means what constraining okay controlling means what constraining option the dependent one sir is the independent option. Now tell me, dependency or exclude? Dependency. Dependency. Click us. So now if you observe your bundle product, now if, if you observe your bundle product, okay. so what will happen is, by default, this wireless installation will be disabled mode default it will be 
disable mode. So, can you see now what is the status for this one? Why it is disabled? Because it requires which one? Router. Router. Otherwise, it will be requires router. Otherwise, it will be disabled mode. If I enable this one, then you can select it. Okay. Why here? Because we are giving networking maximum option equal to one. That's why it is not coming. You can change the where we can change that this one. Why it is showing like a radio buttons here? Networking. Maximum minimum. Because max is one. Where max is one? Networking. Networking. Hey, network. What is networking? Networking. What is networking? What is networking? Features. Future. So in future, what I have given? Maximum one. Complete name Japali. Maximum options and Japali. Imagine. Understand, madam? Why you are not like talking? You should talk now, madam. This is also interview questions, madam. They will ask in the interview. If you are not speaking, then it will be not good actually. Now, if you refresh, radio button displaying means simply we can say. Future level max options is one and Japal confident. Clear? Okay. Sir. Products. Now go to your bundle. Select. <clears throat> hmm. Now you can check boxes. Now you can select more than one also. So this is called what include or exclude include include sir hmm. okay this is thing i have one more requirement okay this is one requirement so what is another requirement is whenever i'm selecting wireless access point plus a router then only i want to Enable this option. Is it understanding what I'm saying? Requirement? Yes. So when I should enable now this installation? When both the uh, both options option. are chosen. So that mm, then how we can achieve this functionality? How we can achieve this functionality? Is I'll give plan, just you need to develop and you need to show me. So uh, first we have to create one rule that is already there. This is the one rule. Okay. Okay. Rule one. And you have to create one more rule. Same like this option constraint rule. Two. Here also we have to use the same dependency. Here, what you have to do? Instead of a router, wireless access point. Now we have two rules, correct? Option constraint rule one and rule two. If you observe both rules, what is the dependent option sir, in both the rules? Wireless installation. Wireless installation. Okay. So when now what is our requirement? Whenever we select both, then only should enable. So to achieve this functionality, what we have to do is, if you see there is a one more field in the option constraint, uh, that field name is group, option group. Okay. Option constraint group. So what you have to do is, for both rules, for both the rules, you can give just any uh, a common group. Example, I can give uh, any name you can give router and access point. This is router and access point group. So whatever the group name you are giving here in the rule one, same group name we have to give. Then your rule will work. Understand what I'm saying? Other than that, this is, this is a, this name, sir? yeah, this is just a text field, madam. Okay. It just, this is a text okay. field. You can give any name, okay. but why I'm giving this name is it should be meaningful now, madam. Like uh, why, which, what is the group here? Okay. Right? Router plus access point group. Yeah, you can give any name, even test also fine, but we should give them some meaningful name. Whatever the name you are giving yes. in the rule one, same name we need to use in the rule 2 also 
understand yes okay so you have to do these three assignments sir okay whatever we discussed now this exclude and include okay and that is called option constraints concept okay madam okay there is one more checkbox also there what is the checkbox i'll tell you it's not required okay so this is checkbox check prior purchases so what is the use of this checkbox is in case uh, already customer purchased this uh, options like uh, us keyboards like router and all those things so then what will happen is these purchases are there in asset object right that will consider here that time also your rule will work okay so just it will check the prior purchases whatever the code you are creating right whenever you creating code for the customer if that customer is already purchased some items like the same items like a router and uh, something like this that time also it will work there you already selected router then in this case it will work the rule also okay just that is some high level okay that is the one thing okay. just one minute 